Welcome back to the oldest clubs in each European country series. Today we'll be tackling the countries we didn't get to fill in last time on the European map. The rules are the same as before. The club must be an independent football club, not part of a state troop or university or anything else. The founding date will be the date they began playing football, not just when the organisation was founded. The country it represents will be the country it exists in today, and it must have continually existed playing football regularly in an organised way. Some of my pronunciations here are bound to be wrong, so forgive me in advance. If you haven't seen part one, then go and watch it. The link will be in the description. And with that said, let's dive straight in, going from oldest to newest. We start off with Hungary, and when it comes to Hungary, I have a bit of a problem, and something I haven't encountered before. As I know which team is the oldest in Hungary, no doubt, the team is Ujpest FC, which was founded in 1885. However, they weren't a football club at that time, and the only thing I can find is that they started playing football a few years later. So I don't know the specific date, but somewhere around 1890 is probably when they started playing football. Today, Ujpest are in the top division and are also the third most successful Hungarian club, winning the league 9 out of 11 years in the 70s. Next, we move to the tiny island of Malta, and Malta comes in relatively early in 1890, but this isn't too much of a surprise given the close relationship between Malta and the UK. The oldest club there seems to be St. George's FC, which was a merger of three initial clubs set up on the island, St. George's, Santa Margarita, and St. Andrews. And today, St. George's play in the top flight of Malta. Speaking of islands, next we move to Greece, and the oldest Greek club has quite the story. Pananinios FC was founded in 1890 by a Greek population in Izmir, which today is in Turkey. So you might wonder why this is on the Greek list. Well, after the Greco-Turkish War of 1919 to 1922, the club was forced to move, and so they did to southern Athens. The club has been relatively successful as well, spending almost its entire history in the top flight of Greek football and winning the Greek Cup twice. In fact, in 27-18, they were in the Europa League qualifiers after finishing 5th in the league. However, since then they found themselves in the 4th tier of Greek football and are being classed as an amateur side, after money troubles got them expelled from the Greek league. Next we go to Czechia and they were an early adopter of football with it being introduced in the early 1890s. The oldest team I could find of the Czech sides was SK Slavia Prague, who narrowly beat out their local rival Sparta Prague by just one year, with Slavia being founded in 1892 and Sparta in 1893. However, both teams began as sporting institutions not playing football until 1896, which is when the first Prague derby happened between the two sides. But this could be called a draw between the two sides from Prague, but overall I guess the tiebreaker goes to Slavia Prague. Moving to their neighbours, Slovakia, given that football started in the 1890s in what today is Czechia, you wouldn't expect it to be too far behind in Slovakia either, and that seems to be the case with the first football clubs being established in 1898. The very earliest of these seems to be FC Tatran Prezov, who currently play in the third tier of Slovakian football, but have been runners-up twice in the Czechoslovakian league and winners of the Slovak Cup. Next we move to our first Balkan nation and it is Serbia and the oldest Serbian club is actually FC Baka formed in 1901 in Subotica. It is the oldest club in the ex yugoslav states but when the club was formed it was actually a part of Austria-Hungary. From there it competed in the Austria-Hungarian leagues then in the Yugoslav leagues after World War 1 then it actually went back to the Hungarian leagues during the occupation by the Axis in World War 2 before being returned to Yugoslavia after the war. Today though they play in the third tier of Serbian football. Next we move to Turkey and the history here is very heavily linked with Greece as their three oldest clubs starting in 1877 all moved from Turkey to Greece after the Greco-Turkish War. From there the next seven oldest Turkish clubs were disbanded at some point or another and so that brings us to 1905 and the founding of one of the most famous Turkish sides Galatasaray who were founded by high school students. They've won the league 22 times, the Turkish Cup 18 times, and the UEFA Cup and the UEFA Super Cup both once as well. Next we go to Poland, and unlike many countries in Europe, football in Poland was actually first brought back to Poland by a Polish man, rather than perhaps the English or British people spreading it abroad. Henrik Jordan had spent time in England though, observing the game and thought it would be good to play it back home. The first matches in Poland were played between the people of Lwów, 
and Krakow. The oldest football club in Poland was Lechia Lwów, formed in 1903. However, they were disbanded in 1939. Therefore, the oldest surviving club in Poland is KS Krakowia, named after the Latin spelling of Krakow, who currently play in the top division in Poland, having won the league five times in their history. Next, we move back to the Balkans and to Croatia, with the earliest records of football being played in Croatia being very early, from the 1870s. But these were just matches normally played between Brits and the locals, or exclusively among the British. We have to go quite a bit further forward in time to find the first team formed by Croatians themselves, which was Baka in Sabotica in 1901. However, as mentioned, they are the oldest club in what is today Serbia and not Croatia, and therefore the first Croatian club, which today is in Croatia, is HNK Rijeka, found in 1906 who are Croatia's third most successful club. The oldest Russian club seems to be a relatively open and shut case, being FC Zanamaya Truda, a club based east of Moscow that was created in 1908 or 9 by an English factory owner. The club has amazingly changed its name 15 times in its history and has been through its fair share of tragedy, most notably being when the team bus crashed into a lorry in 2004, killing four players and five members of staff. More recently, times have been rough as well as they are struggling to stay afloat, but they still carry on holding the torch as Russia's oldest football club. Next, we move to Slovenia. And in Slovenia, football began around the turn of the 20th century with teams made up of German and Hungarian minorities leading the way in the early days. However, none of these clubs would last and Slovenian students would start forming their own teams, the oldest of which, and that still survives today, is ND Illerija 1911, who were founded in 1911. They probably got off to potentially the worst start any football team has ever had, losing 18-0 in their first match against fellow student team Hermes. Despite this bad start, the team carried on, and today they play in the Slovenian second tier. Next, we move to Cyprus, and the oldest Cypriot club seems to be Anorthis Famagusta FC, who were founded in 1911 and today play in the top flight of Cypriot football. They're also one of the most successful teams in Cyprus, winning 13 league titles and 11 cups. They're also one of three teams to have never been relegated in Cyprus also. They had to move from Famagusta to Lanarka in 1974 due to the Turkish invasion. And so they have become a popular club with refugees and have supporters all over the island. We go now to Bulgaria and football in Bulgaria began when a Swiss teacher brought the game over in 1894 and it gained popularity from there. In fact, a Bulgarian man was part of the founders of Galatasaray, but the first Bulgarian club was FK Sofia 13, but they were dissolved in 1944, but then brought back in 2018. A similar story exists for Dorostol Silistria, who unofficially existed from 1902, but then have dissolved multiple times since. Therefore, the oldest continuous club I could find was Botev Plovdiv, who were founded in 1912 and currently play in the top division of Bulgaria. Next up, we're going to cover Estonia, and of all the countries, Estonia was not the one I expected the most difficulty with, but that is what happened, as FC Meteor Tallinn were the first club ever in Estonia, and everyone agrees, having been formed in 1908. They played their first match a year later in 1909 against Mekur Tallinn and won 4-2. However... This team seems to be a ghost team, as I could not find any information about them other than what I just told you. In fact, I actually scoured the Estonian Football League system to see if they were a part of it, but still found no reference to them at all, so I have no idea if they still exist. If they do, and you know, please let me know. But the oldest club I could find that still exists, and I know that exists, is JK Tulvik, founded in 1912. They thankfully are still playing in the Estonian top flight. However... They also got disbanded in the 1940s and didn't reappear until 1990 after independence from the USSR. By our rules, that would then eliminate them because they didn't continuously play football. But again, however, because it seems that almost all the clubs in Estonia went through some period of disbanding after the Soviet occupation of Estonia, so arguably this record could be shared by a lot of teams who were the founding members of the current league system after independence, but of those teams that came back, Tulvik is the oldest I could find, so I'll go with them, but this one is a big throw up of the hands, I really don't have any idea. Moving away from the Estonian mess, the oldest Montenegrin football club I could find was FK Lovsen, founded in 1913 as a workers sports club. Unfortunately, I couldn't find an exact date for when they began playing football, but at the latest it was 1914 when they competed in an international sports olympiad that included football. 
Since then, they have changed their league a lot due to the changing nature of their country, but today compete in the third tier. Unlike their Baltic brothers, Lithuania gives us a nice simple answer to who their oldest club is. FK Svikata formed in 1919. Thankfully, they never stopped playing football, even during the Soviet occupation, and are still going to this day. They currently are playing in the third tier of Lithuania, having never won a championship in their long history. Next, we go to Albania, and the first recorded person to bring football to Albania seems to have been a priest, Father Gut Ruta from Malta. And Albania provides us with a rather simple answer to the question of their oldest club. Everyone seems to agree that the oldest club in Albania is KF, Velasnia Skoda, founded in 1919 as a sports club, but they wouldn't play their first football match until 1920, so that is the date we will use. They have competed in every season but three of the Albanian top flight, beginning in 1930. Just hopping across the border, next we go to North Macedonia, and football in North Macedonia seems to have become a little later than some of their neighbours, beginning around 1909 for the first time. The oldest North Macedonian club is FK Lujboten, founded in 1919. They are traditionally a club supported by the Albanian minorities and the older, more affluent side of Titovo, the city where they play, whereas their rival FK Tetex are mostly supported by the working class Macedonians. Next up we have Romania, and searching for the oldest club in Romania wasn't that easy as there wasn't too much information out there. However, after some searching I came across FC Sportol Studentesk Bucharest, being formed in 1916. However, they were dissolved just four years ago in 2017, therefore giving the title to FC Unire Dej, who were founded in 1921. But they have never reached the top flight of the official Romanian league. Next we go to Bosnia, and the history of Bosnian football was never really going to be dull, and predictively we have a bit of a story to tell. Football first found Bosnia around the start of the 20th century, and after a few years of growth, the first football teams began forming, most in Sarajevo. These were SASK, Slavia, and Derzelez. These teams were all founded around 1910, however, all of these early clubs would run into trouble with the communist Yugoslav government after World War II. For instance, SASK was banned because during World War II it competed in the Croatian League, which was allied with the Axis powers. Therefore, the oldest team which continuously played and managed to survive the Yugoslav government was FK Sarajevo, founded in 1921 by a group of railway workers. Next, we move to Kosovo, and in Kosovo, we seem to have our only tie, with two clubs claiming to be the oldest, and both being formed in 1922. Usually, there's information about which one actually came first, but here I couldn't really find much, and both clubs do claim to be the oldest in Kosovo, and they are FC Pristina and KF Vustria. The former being one of the most successful Kosovan sides, winning 21 league titles across the various formats they've been involved in, but the latter actually came strong relatively recently with their first ever league win in the 2013-14 season. Next up is Ukraine, and football may have actually made its way to Ukraine as early as the 1860s, with its first club being an all-British club made up of sailors called the Odessa British Athletic Club, and people may not realise or appreciate just how influential Ukraine has been in the footballing world. However, the first fully documented match took place in Ukraine in 1894. From there, the popularity of football grew and many Ukrainian sides began taking form, but then during World War I, everything changed. The momentum of football stopped as the borders of Ukraine changed massively, and so many of these clubs were moved into different leagues or fizzled out. That leaves us with the interwar years when the rest of Ukraine that wasn't already taken to other countries was then incorporated into the Soviet Union in 1922. Then five years later, the first club that would survive all this was formed. The famous Dynamo Kiev were founded and they are still the oldest surviving Ukrainian club. Next, we move to Belarus and the oldest Belarusian club seems to be FC Dynamo Minsk, having been created in 1927. They were the only Belarusian team to play in the top Soviet league and did so for 39 of the 54 seasons it existed, and they actually won the top Soviet league in 1982. Since Belarus gained its independence, FC Dynamo Minsk have been one of the most successful clubs, winning seven league titles and three cups. Next we move to Latvia, and you might be surprised to see it so far behind its close Baltic neighbours, 
But Latvian football begins in the early 1900s with the oldest club I could find being made up of Britons called British FC Riga founded around 1907. And Germans also made a club called Union Riga which was formed slightly after the British club. But these two clubs and many others that were formed since were disbanded around World War II. So therefore the oldest surviving club I could find was FC Daugava who were founded in 1944. The history of what happened during the Soviet occupation isn't that clear. But of all the clubs that exist today, they seem to have the oldest founding date, so they are my choice. And finally, we come to Moldova, and it may not surprise that the small nation of Moldova got started a little later than others, but as Sheriff Tiraspol have proved recently, that doesn't mean football isn't important there. The oldest Moldovan club I could find isn't Sheriff, though. Instead, it seems to be Zimbrud Kisinau, located in the capital that was founded in 1947 and competed in the Soviet top league in the 50s. When Moldova became independent, they dominated the new Moldovan league, winning the first five titles and eight of the first nine. But they haven't won the league since. And so that wraps up the oldest clubs in Europe series. If you want the full list in order, it will be in the description below. But that was just a little bit of football history. Thanks for watching.